guys, what's up? Welcome back to part six of the Fruit Ninja tutorial series in Scratch. In this episode, we're going to be working on the game over screen and the retry screen. There's going to be two parts to this, so I'll just cover the first section in part six and do the rest in the next part seven. So first, let's take a look at how the game over screen works right now. So let's say you miss three fruits. Let's wait for the third fruit. You can see it just stops the game. It's a pretty bad way to end it. So let's go into our game and let us remove this stop all and let's instead use a variable called mode which is going to be for all sprites and this is going to control which mode our player is in. So it could be main menu, it could be game or retry screen, stuff like that. So we want to say when flag is clicked, let's set this mode. Oops, to game and we don't have a main menu yet so we're going to use this for right now but later you can imagine we'd change this to main menu then when I receive game over set mode to game over so now instead of stopping all we can just change this so that we only spawn waves when we were in when we we're in that initial game mode so let's drag in an if Go to operators, drag in an equals, and say if mode is equal to game, then do this. However, if in the middle of this repeat you lose, it'll continue to spawn the rest of the fruits. So let's manage that. Let's go into our fruit and make sure that the user's interaction with the fruit can only happen when our mode is equal to game. So we're going to drag in an AND operator. And the third condition is that our mode, we can bring this here and change this to mode, is equal to game. Let me bring this down for right now. We also want to do this in BOM. So you can see here we want to add a third condition going to operators, drag in an equals, and again, we want this to equal game. And we can go to variables and drag in that same mode variable. The next thing you want to do is make sure that lives cannot be changed when you are in a game over screen. So the way we are going to make sure that lives can only change when you're in the game mode is to go into fruit and change this to an AND operator and use that same condition which we can bring from here. So now our fruit and bomb will only function properly when we're in that game mode which is exactly what we want. We also want to make sure that in our game sprite that these two will only happen if mode is equal to game. So we can bring this here and do this, duplicate it, and let's broadcast uh, spawn fruit here. So let's see how this looks. I'm going to full screen here. And you can see I've lost two lives. And if I hit the bomb, you can see we move into game over and no more spawn. Okay, that's looking good. Let's add an animation for our game over. So paint a new sprite, go to upload, and drag in the game over.png. And we're going to add an animation. So first of all, we want to say when flag is clicked, let's go to x0 and y0. And let's hide this to start. And the only time you would want to do the animation is when you receive game over. So we already have that message set up. So let's first uh, go to front layer. And then we can show. We'll set our size to 0 and then repeat 10 times. We can change our size by 10 to get back to that full size that we want, so we'll get to 100. Then we'll use a similar bounce effect as our critical hit sprite. So two, whoops, negative 10, and then we can duplicate this, bring the bottom repeat into the third spot, and then change this to 10, and this to negative 10. So it should be 10, 10, 2, negative 10, 2, 10, 
and then 10, negative 10. So if you need to pause, that's all good. Pause and then see this. And then finally, we want to hide our sprite um, right here. Whoops. And then set the mode away from game over to a new mode called retry. We want to make sure it pauses there. So we're going to events, drag in a wait two seconds here. And now let's see how that looks. So we'll wait for one, another fruit. So we lose two lives. And let's see if we hit this bomb. You can see it does that nice animation, which I really like. Okay, that's where I'm going to leave it off. There's still a lot more to do in the retry section of the game over. So we're going to do that in the next part. But I hope you guys enjoyed this short episode, and I will see you then. Make sure to subscribe and like the video to stay updated on future parts. Peace.